7, only on KTLA, LA's very own. Breaking news out of New York State this morning. Author Salman Rushdie's condition unknown at this time after he was stabbed during a lecture series this morning. He was apparently stabbed 10 to 15 times in the neck by a man who rushed the stage. Happened in a city about 55 miles southwest of Buffalo. The attacker was subdued by security and taken into custody. Rushdie's book, The Satanic Verses, has been banned in Iran since 1988 and led to death threats from the country. A bounty of more than $3 million had also been offered by an Iranian religious foundation for anyone who kills the author. The family of the actress Anne Heche uh, has a grim assessment following her fiery crash into a home a week ago. Relatives say she is not expected to survive. KTLA's Aaron Myers live in West Hills with more on her condition. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Frank. A representative made that statement last night saying she's not expected to survive and that she's being kept on life support to see if her organs can be donated. Currently, she's being treated here at the Grossman Burn Center at West Hills Hospital. The representative for the 53-year-old actress says she suffered a severe anoxic brain injury and remains in a coma in critical condition, saying it had been her wishes to donate her organs and she is being kept on life support to determine if any are viable. He also said Anne had a huge heart and touched everyone she met with her generous spirit. More than that, more than her extraordinary talent, she saw spreading kindness and joy as her life's work, especially moving the needle for acceptance of who you love. She will be remembered for her courageous honesty and dearly missed for her light. Hayes suffered life-threatening injuries after her car crashed into a home in Mar Vista last Friday, engulfing the residents and her car in flames. It took about an hour to free her and extinguish the blaze. She suffered significant pulmonary injuries requiring mechanical ventilation, and her burns required surgical intervention. KTLA spoke with a doctor about the severity of her injuries. It's really a very uh, awful and serious injury that affects pretty much every every inch of your body and all your different organ systems. Typically, if somebody needs surgery for burns, then you're talking about full thickness burns or uh, what's also known as third degree burns. If she has neurologic function that's compromised to the point that they're calling it a coma, you, you know that it's, uh, it's really bad. TMZ reports that the actress had cocaine and possibly fentanyl in her system when she crashed, but more tests are needed to see if the fentanyl was in her system at the time of the crash or if it was administered at the hospital. The narcotics could explain her erratic driving leading up to the crash. Heche was seen speeding down residential streets and nearly missed hitting a pedestrian before she hit the house. Back here live, currently the crash is being investigated as a felony DUI as the resident inside at the home at the time of the crash was injured. Reporting live here in West Hills, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you both in the studio. Aaron, thank you. Las Vegas police have released body cam footage showing officers dragging the former NFL star Marshawn Lynch out of his car before arresting him on suspicion of driving under the influence. The footage was released two days after Lynch's arrest on suspicion of DUI uh, Tuesday morning. Officers say they found Lynch asleep behind the wheel with the vehicle uh, in an undrivable condition. Lynch's attorneys say his car was safely parked and not in operation. They say they are confident that when all of the evidence is presented, this will not be a DUI under Nevada law. Lynch is due in a Las Vegas municipal court on December 7th. The plan to turn downtown LA's historic Cecil Hotel into temporary housing for homeless people is moving forward. Yesterday, the city council advanced a motion through the Homeless and Poverty Committee. Council is seeking to enter a lease with the hotel. It will allow homeless people to be placed there through the city's voucher program. The Cecil was converted into an affordable housing complex last December, but as of June, only 73 of the 600 units were occupied. Heavy downpours brought more flash flooding to the Vegas Strip last night. This is the parking garage of the Harris and Link Hotels, which look more like a river. Drivers all across Sin City struggled to get around with water coming up to the doors of their car. And the flooding wasn't just outside, rain pouring in through the ceiling of Planet Hollywood, soaking the casino floor. This is the second time in recent weeks that the casino has flooded following heavy rain. Wow. Well, they do live in a desert. And yeah. as we've talked about, the water does not 
saturates and it, yeah. it runs. It runs, and, yeah. or it comes through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. It runs that through too. your casino. That's a different issue yeah. that they're going to have to talk to somebody about. They're having a run on the, on the uh, bank there. Uh, yeah. Good morning, uh, 26 minutes away from 11 o'clock. Things warming up, and it's going to be a warm weekend. But uh, the chance of uh, rain, uh, not so much uh, all the way through the weekend, except if you're up in the mountains or maybe out in the desert, uh, because uh, especially if you're heading towards Vegas, they uh, they have been getting hit hard, as we said. Here we go, looking at the beach. Beautiful weather. Put the maps into motion.